with an increased amount of gold actually be able to made in Battle for Azeroth, you're probably looking for the best spots out there. You're probably looking for spots that actually give you a lot more gold per hour than anything else. Now the fact is, there's a lot of spots. Now this channel, what we do here is actually show you those spots. I don't want to waste your time, so if you are a new subscriber or old subscriber, check out in the description for any links that you can actually help, and also to as well, hit that bell button. Like always, thank you to the Super Chats, Patreons, and everybody who actually watches this video. So let's get right into it. Alright, my mustachians, so let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is instant respawn spots. These two spots are actually really well known. Actually, the second spot's not really that well known, but the first one is, and the first one is actually Vuldun. Vuldun is actually a great spot for people who actually just wants to sit there afk farming now the thing is about the Vuldon though is there's a lot of people who are going to be farming this spot i should be showing you where it's at in the horde section now the thing is is that alliance you can't come here until 120 but horde you can you can actually get here this is like a well-known spot obviously everybody's doing it but the problem is is that you have to have both sides um full of people like five people at least to actually just keep um the instant response coming because if you don't then actually it won't instant respawn. Now, I will say there's no hard finding this group at all. Like there's gonna be people doing it night and day, but I will say one thing, there's a lot of people who will tag who's not in your party just to get the tags. So you gotta compete, it's really sucky, but I will say right now that I made over three million gold just off doing this. And the reason why I made that much is because I got four BOEs and I got one mount and it was just plainly amazing. I got the mount on the stream. It was an amazing stream, guys. So we got a lot of streams coming up soon. So basically, I hope you all enjoy that. Now, let's get on to the next spot all right this next spot is actually going to be a spot on vigil hills now i will say right now shout out to apps for actually showing me the peer spot he actually showed me a peer that is in this spot too as well but he didn't show me the rest of it he just said that hey this could be an instant respawn so i checked it out and it is now the thing is about this spot there's no mount drop okay that's the only bad part of it is it has no mount drop but it does have boe and greens and so forth now i will say right now this is a solo spot you don't have to have any groups you don't have to have anything done so forth if you're 120 horde you can come over here and do it yourself now i will say what you're going to want to do is actually this okay you're going to want to hit every single mob you see tag them. the way it works is this if you tag it first that's the one they're going to go after and what i mean them i mean the npcs all the npcs help you here so if you run to an npc with mobs they will actually help you and they will follow you until you stop tagging now that's a really good thing because these npcs are strong as hell so basically what you're going to want to do you're going to want to go everywhere as you can tag 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 and by the time you go around again they are already spawned tag 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 as long as you don't die and as long as you have a great way to tag people you're going to be able to farm a lot let me know in the comments below if you're going to try this because i think this is one of the best other spots than actually the one i showed you before so let's get into the next segment all right mustaches if you actually made it this far the code word is i hit that bell button if you don't know what a code word is it's basically where i give a wow token every week if you have both code words and you got to say it in each video all right so let's get right into the rest of the video so we're going to be talking about legion raids not that much but we're just going to be talking about it they are doable but a lot of bosses are are still not doable because of their mechanics now this will be nursed by blizzard pretty soon but not really soon because they have their more agendas on the mind and obviously a lot of people don't want to do this at the moment but i will say right now if you had if you want a challenge you can go do these legion raids also too as well all the legion dungeons will be on a versus series because they are doable now they're very easy to actually do i could do mythic um legion dungeons when i was in legion so that said let's see how that becomes and see if you can actually farm some great items and so forth so let's get into the next thing the next thing is going to be just a simple tip and this is using lock boxes now the thing is is that a lot of rogues they're going out of business and the reason why they're going out of business is because of basically scroll of unlocking and another engineer toy which i or actually an item that i don't know how to say i don't know the name because i don't have it on the screen but it'll be right here but anyways the point is is that these two items can be attained very easy very very easy especially scroll unlocking and you can unlock up to 600 level of lot of lock boxes which is not bad don't get me wrong rogues are still going to be you know having some money to open up anything above 600 but this is just a little food for thought and you know advice go do this that if you have any lock boxes sitting around and you don't have a, a rogue leveled up at all so that said let's get into the last part of the video all right guys so this last part of the video is going to go over some hot fixes and a few other things so first and foremost i want to say is that dark moon decks are going to go up and down now the down ones are going to be phantom okay phantom is actually going to be going down because it got a nine percent nerf also too as well squalls is going to go up and the reason why it's going to go up is because it got a 300 percent buff which is amazing also too as well blockades will be going up a little bit because it got its right stamina and health increase which is pretty cool because now you're going to be able to use those into the next raid now don't get me wrong i'm going to get squalls and i'm going to use it from a warlock i don't know about anybody else i'm going to make mine actually because i have enough to make i've been farming a lot now that said let me know in the comments below which one you're going to be using if you're going to be selling again for those two because that's 
that's gonna be a seller because I've already seen people on Prod more. Right when they hot fix it, hey, I'll buy it for 40k, I'll buy it for 40k or 50k or whatever, and people were selling them to them. But and the reason why they were selling because they didn't know about the hot fix. So now that you know, do not sell them for that much. You're gonna be selling them for 100k to 200k. Now that said, well, let's get into the last part. The last part is a just simple. Okay, this last part is basically telling you that we're gonna be do on Twitch pretty soon. Also too as well, we're gonna be doing a lot more streams because I know that y'all like the streams. I've seen a lot of y'all come there. They are amazing. We should be streaming either Tuesday night, probably the night of this video that comes out. And honestly, if we don't, it'll be Wednesday the latest. Now that said, the next video is gonna be out probably on Thursday, going into Thursday. So just give me some time, guys. I want to enjoy some of the, oh, some of my tunes and actually level them up. I know that a lot of y'all like to watch me play or like me to do some farms and so forth. And we're gonna be doing that. I had so much fun farming with y'all that I want to do that a lot more. So let me know in the comments below if you want to be part of the mustache community. We are gonna make pe make people mods if you donate to Super Chat and if you actually um, on Twitch. There's not gonna there's gonna be mods in Twitch too as well. But you gotta meet certain requirements and you gotta check that out in the last stream. So that's it, guys. Like always, if you heard me hit the table, I do apologize. But as always, please stay safe. Do what you want to do. Do it as much as you can. When it comes back up later on, do it again. Horde, if you have anything similar to this, do it because they're giving you gear. Usually back in the day, they used to not do it. They used to be where if you use an item like that, you don't get no gear. But you do get gear this time. So that said, I will say too as well that if you have like five people in your party, right? You're probably going to get a lot more chances of getting those epics. That's the whole point about being here. Don't get wrong.